Well, good morning. We want to talk about uh, untwisting words that have been twisted by carnal religion. And one of those words is forgiveness, as in the forgiveness of sin and what that really means. Okay, forgiveness, if you look it up uh, in the Strong's original uh, meaning, definition of the word forgiveness is, literally means freedom from, deliverance from, to relieve from bondage or imprisonment, okay? It means really to send away. And one meaning, root meaning, is to divorce from or to separate us from something that we were in union with. And the Bible says that through one man's transgression that we became a, a union into union with this thing called sin and death. And forgiveness is not something that God had to be uh, to, to find in his heart in order to, you know, forgive us because God was angry. He had to find a way to forgive us. That God had an issue with us, our behavior, and that God sent his son to punish his son so that he could then be relieved from his own anger towards us and be able to forgive us. Okay, that is not what forgiveness of sin is. Forgiveness is that God who loved us saw us in a thing called sin and death and was not happy with that. That's not who he created us for, to be in union with. He created us to be in union with him who is life. So when you think of forgiveness as God's uh, love coming down to, to divorce us, separate us from something that was serving us with death. The Bible says the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So we remember one day Jesus came and John saw him coming, walking along the Jordan. And he tells the crowd, behold the lamb that takes away the sin of the world. Well, take away the sin of the world is that Jesus came to forgive us of sin or to take away the sin that we were in union with that was serving us with death. Okay, so... Also in Psalm 103, it says this, As far as uh, the east is from the west, so God has removed. It doesn't say, it doesn't say that God uh, had to forgive us. He says, you know, God removed sin, which is really the more accurate meaning of forgiveness, that he removed it. He took it away. He removed our transgressions from us. Okay, so... So also in Acts 13.38, Paul says this. He says that his call was to preach the forgiveness of sin, okay? To declare the forgiveness of sin, okay? So he came to declare what Christ came to um, accomplish. And that was when Jesus died on the cross, okay? And he was raised a third day that sin, okay, was forgiven for all. For all have been forgiven once and for all by the blood of Jesus. So the message is to the world that your sins have been removed as far as the east is from the west, okay? That is the declaration that we preach in order to persuade their heart to believe that God is for us, not against us. And really, now what can separate us from the love of God that's in Christ? But we need to understand forgiveness of sin is, is not that God had to find it in his heart to forgive us, but that God saw us in sin, in union with sin, and he didn't create us to be in union with sin, but to be in union with him who is life. He came to put away the old man of sin, Okay, he came to separate us from sin, remove it, in which he did through Christ. And so now that we can be uh, in union, brought in perfect union with him who was raised from the dead. Okay, that's what forgiveness of sin really is. And so that we declare to you that you have been forgiven of sin and that, that uh, sin, uh, you are no longer a slave to sin. You're no longer in union with sin. And what the Lord wants you to, to, uh, to believe is that this has been accomplished. That's the good news. He wants your heart to be persuaded that you are forgiven in Jesus, 
okay, in Jesus Christ, through Jesus, you have been forgiven of all sin, and that he wants you to receive the gift of eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ. So if this is for you today, receive the gift of forgiveness of sin and eternal life in Christ. Bless you.